In this video, we're going to explore the impact of one of the most iconic pop albums of the last decade, Katy Perry's Teenage Dream. Released in August 2010, this record not only became the soundtrack of a generation, but also cemented Katy's status as a global superstar. So why was Teenage Dream so influential? And how did it shape the pop music landscape of the 2010s? When it came time to release her second album, Katy was coming off her very successful debut album One of the Boys. One of the Boys established the Katy Perry pop sound and got her her first number one single I Kissed a Girl and also contained bangers like Hot and Cold and Waking Up in Vegas. She was determined to keep innovating her sound on her next one and she took it to a whole new level with her sophomore album Teenage Dream. The Teenage Dream era kicked off with California Girls featuring Snoop Dogg. It was an immediate summer radio hit that peaked at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 and stayed at the top for six weeks. Its popularity was aided by its colorful video that was inspired by Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The video also gave us the iconic album cover. The disco and funk influences of the song was an introduction to where she was taking her sound. She followed it up with the album's title track Teenage Dream, which is widely regarded as one of Katy's best songs ever. It's a nostalgic and romantic song that captures the feeling of being young and in love. Lord, one of the artists influenced by Katy said that Teenage Dream was one of her biggest inspirations growing up. The next single was Firework, an unforgettable dance pop power ballad that was played everywhere from weddings to graduations. The fourth single was E.T., which took a darker tone with elements of hip-hop and dubstep, along with another version featuring Kanye West. The final single was Last Friday Night, a fun upbeat dance pop song about partying. For the album, Katy collaborated with a diverse team of producers and songwriters, including Dr. Luke, Max Martin, and Sia. The album features 12 tracks ranging from upbeat dance pop anthems like California Girls and Teenage Dream to emotional ballads like Not Like the Movies and The One That Got Away. But Teenage Dream was not just a collection of hits, it was also a cohesive and creative album that showcased Katy's personality style and vision. Teenage Dream was not only a musical masterpiece, but also a visual spectacle. Katy created stunning and colorful music videos for each of her singles, which showcased her creativity and sense of humor. She also developed a distinctive aesthetic for the album era, based on candy clouds, fireworks, and California vibes. The album also had some darker and deeper songs that showed Katy's vulnerability and maturity as an artist. Circle the Drain is a song about dealing with a partner's drug addiction and how it affects their relationship. The One That Got Away is a heartbreaking song about losing the love of your life and wondering what could have been. And Not Like The Movies is a song about realizing that real love is not like the fairy tales that's seen on screen. When Teenage Dream was released, it was an instant commercial success. It debuted on number one on the Billboard 200 Albums chart selling 192,000 copies in its first week. It also spawned five consecutive number one singles on the Billboard Hot 100, breaking the record previously held by Michael Jackson's Bad. These number one singles were California Girls, Teenage Dream, Firework, E.T. and Last Friday Night. They all dominated airwaves, the internet and the charts for months, and became cultural phenomenons. The album was released at an interesting time when there was a transition to a new era in music, where the primary way to get noticed was becoming popular online. Twitter was in its infancy and heating up. YouTube had just become the primary way to release music videos. Streaming wasn't a thing yet, and iTunes is the primary site for digital downloads. Katie utilized all those platforms for the album's historic success. She also embarked on a massive world tour to support the album, called the California Dream Tour. The tour was a huge success, grossing over $59 million and attracting over 1.5 million fans. The tour featured elaborate sets, costumes, and props that brought Katie's vision to life. She also filmed a documentary about the tour and her personal life called Katy Perry Part of Me, which gave fans an intimate look into her struggles and triumphs as a pop star. Beyond its immediate success, Teenage Dream had a lasting impact on the pop music scene of the 2010s. It helped revive and redefine the concept of a pop star, as someone who could be both glamorous and relatable, both fun-loving and sincere, and both sexy and empowering. 
the album influenced many artists that followed in Katie's footsteps. Lord, Marin Morris, Troy Savan, Dua Lipa, and Billie Eilish all openly expressed they were influenced by the movements. Teenage Dream was one of the most successful eras in pop music history, something that cemented Katie's place as one of the pop icons of the decade. What do you think is the lasting impact of Teenage Dream on the modern pop music era? Tell me in the comments below.